Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to find composite functions of two polynomial functions. So we're given that f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 and g of x equals x plus 2. So we're going to find four different things. We're going to find f of g of x, g of f of x, g of g of x, and we're going to find f of g of 2. So for the last one, this will be the only one that has a numeric answer because we are looking for a number. So we're going to replace that x with 2. I just wanted to make sure to show you how to do that in case you had to do that as well. So the first one that we are going to do is we're going to find f of g of x. And if you want to, you could write this as f and then in parentheses g of x. Because what this is telling us to do is it's telling us to take our g of x equation, which is x plus 2, and we're going to put that in for our x in our f equation. So g of x is equal to x plus 2. And so what we are going to do is everywhere that we have an x in this equation, we are going to take and we're going to replace it with x plus 2. So I would have 2 times x plus 2 squared plus 3 times x plus 2 minus 1. Okay, so now all we have to do is go through and simplify this. So remember that when you do x plus 2 squared, don't forget the middle term because this really means x plus 2 times x plus 2. So when you multiply it out, the first term would be x times x, which would give me x squared. And then I would have two, um, two times x's, so that would give me 4x in the middle, plus 2 squared, which is 4, plus, then we would distribute the 3 into the x plus 2 only, so I would have 3x plus 6 minus 1. So now what we want to do is we're going to take and distribute our 2 in and just simplify any like terms that we have. Okay, so this would give us 2x squared plus 8x plus 8 plus 3x, and I'm going to go ahead and combine these two together just so I don't have to write both of them, plus 5, and this would simplify into 2x squared. I would have the 8x and the 3x, I can combine like terms, 11x plus 13. And this would give us our final answer. So the 2x squared plus 11x plus 13 is the equation that I would get when I compose my f equation with my g of x equation. Okay, so for this second one, we're going to find g of f of x. So this time, what it's telling us to do is now we're going to take our f of x equation and we're going to replace all of our x's in our g equation with our f of x equation. Okay, so we're really finding g of 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Okay, um, so if I replace this into here, all I'm going to do is replace this x right here with 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Okay, um, so really, if I were trying to find this, my g of f of x is going to equal this part right here. Like I said, I'm just going to replace the x in my g of x equation with 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. And then we still have the plus 2 in our equation. So I would just simplify this out, and so I would be left with 2x squared plus 3x, and the only thing that I combine is the negative 1 and the 2, which would give us positive 1. All right, for the next one, just let me go ahead and write this down. We're going to find g of g of x. Okay, so since I need just the g of x equation, um, I'm just going to write down again what g of x is equal to. So remember, g of x is x plus 2. And so if it asks for you to compose something on itself, so g of g of x means that I'm really going to take and replace into my g equation the g of x equation. So I'm really finding g of x plus 2. So all I have to do is take this x right here and replace it with the expression x plus 2. So I really have x plus 2 
plus 2, so I end up with x plus 4. And that would be my final answer because I can't simplify anything further. And for this, you do have to be aware of the domain when you're doing these. For polynomial functions, it doesn't matter because um, the domain of a polynomial function is negative infinity to positive infinity. Any real number can be plugged in here. So if you're composing a polynomial function with a polynomial function, the domain for all of these is just going to be all real numbers because there are no um, restrictions on polynomial functions. I just wanted to address that really quickly in case um, you ran into that in one of your questions. The last thing that we're going to do is find f of g of 2. Okay, so the last one what we're going to do is find f of g of 2. And so what this is telling us to do is we're really going to find our f equation but we're going to replace it with our g of 2 equation, okay? So I'm just going to quickly write down the two equations so that we have them again. We know that f of x is 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, and we know that g of x is x plus 2, just so that I have that here. So what this is telling us to do is to start with this. Let's find g of 2. So if I find g of 2, that just tells me to plug in 2 into my equation. So g of 2 is really 4. So what I'm really finding is f of 4. Since g of 2 equals 4, I'm going to find f of 4. So now what this tells us to do is to take and replace all of my x's in my f of x equation with 4. So I would have 2 times 4 squared plus 3 times 4 minus 1. And then all we have to do is simplify. So this really gives me 2 times 16 plus 3 times 4 is 12 minus 1. So if I do 2 times 16, that gives me 32 plus 12 gives me 44 minus 1 gives me 43. So f of g of 2 is 43. Um, this one, the reason that we have a numeric answer is because it asked us to plug in a 2. For all of the rest of them, they just wanted it in terms of x. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.